to open. And then we're going to say the Pledge of Allegiance once they get up here. allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Tripp. Uh, I would like to present Ms. Hannah Ressler, Ressler to sing the national anthem. Stopper, I'm an Austin Town trustee here uh, in Austin Town. It's a great delight to have so many come and to celebrate this great night in which we finally get to break some ground uh, here at Woodside uh, for our community gardens. As we uh, prepare for our time together, let's uh, join in a word of prayer. Let's pray. Our Father and our God, we give you thanks for this community. We thank you for Austin Town. We thank you for its people. We thank you for its uh, leaders. We thank you for the folks that. Uh, um, protect us, care for us, nurture us. We thank you for your presence and your blessing in this township. And we thank you for this great vision, this great dream of a community gardens here in a place which has uh, held great memories for many of us uh, with Woodside Elementary School and now this new venture in a gardens. We ask indeed your rich blessing on it, that indeed uh, the ground would indeed bear fruit and that fruit then would be used uh, in wise and great ways in order that we would uh, feed many and see a healthy community uh, by virtue of healthy living. Thank you for this pleasure tonight to break ground and to be a part of this uh, great uh, rejoicing in what it is that you are doing in our township. We give you thanks and pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Let me um, introduce you to someone you've already met, who's already been a part of uh, tonight's program, Dale Basista, but let me also uh, brag on Dale just for a moment in the reality that uh, much of what has happened has happened because of a small team of people that have been very passionate about uh, this project, but at the lead of that passionate people is Dale Basista. So why don't we uh, thank him for his work already that has gone into uh, these community gardens and I can come say a few words. Yeah. Thank you, Rick. That was very 
very nice, very nice indeed. Well, thank you everybody for coming. This is great. We have a nice turnout here. Uh, I'd like to th thank the uh, all the township uh, trustees for coming. Judge Anthony Gapolito is here, and uh, that's a great thing in and of itself. From small dreams, big things can happen. Today marks the beginning of what we hope be a big thing for our township. On this beautiful seven acres of land, we intend, with your help, of creating a wonderful green space and garden for all to enjoy. For years to come, our first priority and our first phase of this project will be to plant a large sunflower uh, garden, which will be directly behind you, actually, that tilt ground over there. I'd like to thank Jim Johnson for getting out today and buying that for us. We wouldn't have had it done without it. Uh, the next part of our project, we're going to be growing wildflowers around the perimeter. We want to beautify this property before we do anything else. Make it attractive to the neighborhood and people driving by. So that, that's the first part of our garden building project. Eventually, we, want, uh, we, we would like to put in berry patches and fruit trees, vegetable gardens walkways, benches, and picnic tables so people can come and enjoy the property here. Our main challenge is a water source. We are looking into drilling a, a well so we can have a continuous water supply for many years to come. This is critical to future development of our community garden. As you can imagine, this will not be cheap to do, but we already did have got donations uh, from various individuals and uh, several businesses. And we've also uh, gotten a lot of support from our Austintown Rotary already, and they just got involved this week. So uh, uh, we really appreciate that coming from the Rotary. They're, all, they're pretty excited about this project, as we are too. But aside from that, what we need more than anything else is participation and involvement by you, the residents of the township. Well, it's windy today. Having a bad hair day. This township, we will have to, we will have the capacity of making our world a better place to live by helping out a friend, a neighbor, a stranger, by teaching a child how to read, by feeding those who cannot feed themselves, adopting a stray cat, dog, or even rescuing abandoned birds, uh, or planting a garden for that matter. Simple things to improve help improve our world. Anne Frank, many years ago, while in hiding, wrote in her diary, and this, this breaks me up every time I read it. She wrote, Anne Frank wrote, it's a wonderful thing that nobody needs to wait a single moment before starting to make the world a better place. We all have the capacity to do that. So I ask all of you, if you can, sign up for volunteer. If you can help out even for an hour, a day, or whatever time you can give, you are helping to make the world a better place. If we are successful with this project, the Woodside Garden will be one of the largest community gardens in the United States. This is our hope, not only to build a garden, but to build a stronger community. Hope is a good thing, maybe the best of things. So in closing, I would like paraphrase John F. Kennedy. Ask not what you can do for your township, ask what your township can do for you. Thank you for listening. Uh, we have a special guest here today. He is a Woodside School alumni. His name is Chris Yambar. Chris is a world-class artist, illustrator, cartoonist, and writer. He's a I think I mentioned your Woodside Elementary alumni, alumni already. Okay, we got through that. Chris has wrote several episodes of The Simpsons, which you've probably seen on TV. Him and his wife, Maureen, were, were one of the first donors, uh, financial donors for this project. In fact, if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't have that sign. -up. So with no further introduction, Chris, you're up. like to be called Chris Asia, but I'll take Chris, you're up. <laughs> you know, 
I went to school here and I liked it so much I almost repeated a grade. <laughs> <laughs> True story. This place was always an oasis for the parents who lived here in Austin because, well, at least until 2.30 every day, you know, then the oasis was over. The bell rang and the creatures were loose. So, but we, we used to take and hate going to school like all kids did. But you know what's amazing? Is as soon as we got out for the day, we went home, changed clothes, and came back. We played football, baseball, basketball. Uh, we learned how to kiss here. Yeah. Yeah. Story. You might as well just say it. We all know it. Some of you still got chaplet. <laughs> all right. Uh, some of us learned how to smoke hay. Okay. Take that out if you want to. Stop it. more action after school than during school, you know. And when they tore it down, it was emotional for a lot of people. A lot of people showed up, toured the school for the last time, spray painted a little bit, took a brick home. We have a giant piece of concrete on one of our properties that we have from the school. You know, my brother was excited. He picked it up and he brought it to the house and he says, look what I got for you. And I said, what? So, and then he told me what it was. And I said, it suddenly became a sacred heirloom. You know, and we have it right there at the end. Uh, the side of, in our flowers, right when you go up onto the porch, you know, because we always want to remember our school days. And I am so thrilled to know that this property is not going to languish and it's not going to become a weed bed. And you look around at the neighbors here, you know, these people are going to be very, very pleased and excited to see what's happening. And I think the entire township is going to benefit from what's going to happen. And you're a part of it. You know, this doesn't happen unless you're here, unless you're here with your hands to the till. Thank you so much for your kindness. Thank you for your willingness to continue to give back to this township. What you do does matter, great or small. Thank you so much. Stick around. You're going to see some amazing things happen in the next years to come. So, there you go. <laughs> is the dream um, over the years that we intend to fill this property 
uh, with gardens from dwarf apple trees.